Yo guys, what's up? It's Soap coming at you on another episode of Careless Kingdom. Today we are out on the Highly Tiger T10 visiting the North Pole, aka just all the decorations they have around town. So hang out, sit back, relax, and and uh, you know, enjoy the show. Peace. <laughs> What is up my kings and queens and in-betweens? The goal for today is I wanna check out the, the Christmas stuff that they got going on around town. It's been a while since I've been out on the scooter so I charged it up last night. We got to like right at 66 volts or so before I unplugged it. I meant to top it off today, but I overslept so I didn't get around to topping it off. With that being said, we're Probably about 80% battery. Plenty of juice to get around. It's like we gotta slow down for traffic now. Where do we pass them? While we're up here, let's take a look. That is a canal river. All right, let's make sure I got y'all set back up correctly. Yeah. We made it across the big road. But uh, I think they've done some like Christmas light stuff over here on Main. So we're gonna go check that out. Turn. Nice turn signals. Like guys, even when I'm on my Hulk, I use turn signals. Whenever I was on my NAND robot that had turn signals, I used turn signals. I don't use them now because they're, they're non-existent. So this is main. You see they put up some lights, or not lights, decorations. Looks nice. go to the end and turn around yeah look at that that looks cute I bet you it looks a lot cuter at night they probably have all this lit up or at least I know that the the lights themselves light up so oh they got a little thing in front of the theater there it says North Pole that was cute Let's go check that out. The Olben Theater. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cute as shit. I like that a lot. All right, so that was cute. Let's uh, let's see if we can find some more cute shit around town. Steep hill, <laughs> right up it, no problem. Does the alleyway have cute shit? No. Why would it though? Why would it though? Not really sure where we're going to go just yet. Make 
Actually, I know exactly where we're gonna go. I'm gonna go up and around the hill. So we're gonna go up this way, and this is gonna take us down through the park where they do like all the light shows and shit. This is a real steep hill, so we're giving her all she's got. Make sure we ain't got a car behind us. Speed limit on this hill is like 25, so for the most part we do good. If I'd lose, you know, some weight, we'd be doing a lot better. But hey, we're almost up to speed, so somebody's behind us, they can... They're gonna slow it down for a second or pass us, right? Now we're gonna pick up some speed. Let me actually put down my visor. There we go. Visor's down. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it was an airplane flying low as can be. This is always a nice part of town. And I tell you, after riding the Hulk for a while, I thought getting back on the scooter was gonna feel weird. No, it's not weird. Feels fine. I still need to get some street tires for this thing, though. A lot of people ask me if I'm gonna supermoto out my Hulk. I ain't supermotoing out the Hulk, but I'll do it to this thing. You know, I'll put some street tires on it. Because, uh, honestly, with all the bumps that I feel with uh, off-road tires, it's, it's kind of shitty. Like, any kind of weird instability I have on this thing, it's just due to those, uh, those treaded tires. Which, they're fantastic for, you know, dirt or, or off-hill, I mean, off-road, anything like that. But when it comes to road, they just feel a little lackluster. It's almost like, have you ever been in somebody's Jeep that's like made for like rock climbing and like off-road and stuff like that? And the Jeep, like whenever you're on the airstate, it's just like It's kind of the same deal. It's like these tires were not in their primary use spot at the moment. Again, real steep hill, pulling it, no problem. It feels slow just because I go through here quick on the halt, but every time I look down, I'm like, shit, I'm going, you know, 25, 30 miles per hour. It's insane on a scooter. All right, this is where we're turning. Oh, they got it blocked off. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, so you can see this is where they get all the lights up each year. I might actually have somebody say something to me because that gate was up and I just went right by it. But then again, I want a scooter, so who knows. And I'll wave and be nice. Yeah, look at all that stuff you got up there. Yeah, if somebody were to say something, I'd just be like, hey man, I'm just, I live up on the hill and I'm just trying to get off the hill. But yeah, you can see all the lights and stuff they got going on. Got Olaf up on the hill. Usually a lot of people through here, since it leads up to that, yeah. 
like that house over there and damn they got all kinds of shit this person has all kinds of stuff that's laying down not up yeah like this road if you live on this road and you don't like go above and beyond for uh christmas like you're probably shunned like all these people shame on you Mini Cooper. So not to toot my own horn, but you know, with with uh, the grace of the universe behind me, hopefully I don't crash into somebody now. But it's been good so far. been on this road in a minute this is a nice one way last time I was through here there was enough uh, woods on the left side that you didn't have to worry about Sun being in your face but you know everything's dead now so Sun in my face Neither of us want to drive through that water. But he ain't got a motor, so. Or at least I, he could have, I didn't know. We got a little puppy dog. What kind of little puppy dog are you? Hey, little puppy dog. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? Get on. Go on. Go home. Go on. Hey, baby. Come here. Come here. You need to go home. Mean little guy. Oh, he wants to chase me. I'm gonna go fast so he can't chase me too far. Definitely plenty away from that dog. Start being a little bit more cautious with my driving. I just didn't want that little guy to, you know, chase me half a mile to a mile away and not be able to find his way home. I'm sure he probably gets out and runs around all the time, but you know. Dogs are silly, they'll chase. I was thinking about getting food, but I don't have a lock on me, so I ain't gonna work out. I guess I got plenty of food in the house to make, though. Make some burritos tonight. I wonder if Nick or anybody's here that we can run into. see Nick or Cody. So with that being said, we're going to head our asses back home because it is chilly. It is pretty chilly. But not too bad to get out and ride. So at least I know now like 50, 50 to 55 is good for the scooter as long as I layer up. I got my winter pants from my uh, Hulk ride on but uh, in terms of shirts I only have I have a long sleeve and then I have a uh, slightly uh, thicker you know corduroy shirt jacket on kind of like a sports coat in a way and uh, it's keeping me warm I do pretty good in the cold overall to be honest with you uh, depending once I get used to it like like if it's 45 and I've been out riding like this and you know I come back home and it's 65 degrees in the house I'm turning on the AC because my body's already gotten used to the cold and I want to be colder but uh yeah not bad 
Not bad, can't complain. Plus, the high lease is fun to get out on. I needed to run down the battery too for a minute. Just because I haven't rode it in a bit. Come springtime, we're going to start taking it up to Charleston on the bus. Unless they don't let us, which I don't see why they wouldn't let us. Everybody, everybody's pretty lax here on shit, so I think we'd be solid. Um, but that, that's what I'm going to try to do. Hopefully it works out. If it don't, though, it, it is what it is. But if we don't do that, you know, I might have a, another car by the time we come around there. I was going to say strap it to the bike, but there ain't no way to strap this guy to the motorcycle. Ain't no way. That'd be fucking nearly impossible. Like, we could probably get it, but it'd be sketch and heavy and sketch and heavy and very sketch. And if you drop the scooter, what do you do then, you know? Like, you just drop the fucking bomb, practically. Because with the, you know, the big-ass battery and all that in it, not good times. When in doubt, use the bus for a shield. That works out perfectly. Slow down this corner. Yep. So I say, just in case I run into somebody who's not paying attention like that guy, I thought I was going to have to beep at him. No beeping required. He looked up. And back over the bridge we go. But with that being said, kings and queens and all of you in betweens, once we get to our size bridge, we're calling it a day. It's been fantastic riding with you. As always, I am Soap. This is Careless Kingdom. We do all kinds of shit on here, from riding PVs, like, you know, as what you're watching now, to motorcycles, to playing games, to making little goofy videos, etc. The common denominator in all my videos is me, Soap. So if you dig me, you like what you're watching, you like the commentary, please hit that like comment subscribe and the bell icon so we can hang out in the future and with that being said again i am soap this is the highly t10 and folks y'all have a wonderful evening great day great night whatever it is for you do it and do it well peace